tuning into off road stuff. So, today, uh, today, if you guys didn't notice, we got us a compressor. No, it's not an actual A or B. This is the uh, eBay, I think Amazon has them too. This is their kind of knockoff, I guess. But it says it's a direct replacement for the uh, ARB compressor, twin compressor. Um, so real quick, I just want to give you guys a little rundown on it. Obviously, it looks like identical. It comes with the two little filters that go on the inlet side. Uh, so a couple of bolts for the underneath the mounting. Um, there's a couple of wiring harnesses. One is like the main pretty self-explanatory plugs in there um, there's another one that plugs into this little uh, it's like a three port uh, and I believe this one just goes to I think this is the one that goes to um, like your solenoids if you're running for uh, for lockers and then there's this other one and I believe this is the one that goes to um, like rocker switches and whatnot so you can control everything but since we don't have air lockers, we're not using this. Well, there's a section of this that we got to use. We'll get into that later. <clears throat> Same thing with this. The only thing we're probably going to use off of this is this plug. And that's it. So next thing we got to do, get out the old tape major and figure out a uh, bracket for this. There's a couple different brackets. I looked them up online already. Um, so we'll go over those in a minute. So one of the ways to mount this under the hood um, goes about right here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The problem is, is with the um, ABS system, it this is too big. It won't fit there. And I don't believe there's enough clearance under the hood. Either that or it would be like right up against it. So the um, next best that I could find is uh, under the seat. Um, I've seen some people just kind of mount them in the back um, around the fender well and stuff like that but um, I tend to carry a bunch of stuff in the back of the truck or the Jeep I'm sorry and uh, I don't want something rolling over hitting this or if I gotta stack something in there so um, I think we're gonna see if we can't put it underneath the uh, driver's seat alright so one of the uh, brackets that I found um, it's kind of a horseshoe-ish kind of shape basically it's like a flat plate you know obviously it's going to fit under here and it has two little ears that go under the back of the uh, the seat bracket it just kind of holds it down and then you bolt your compressor in from the bottom which is probably the way i'm going to go the other one is uh you unbolt your seat from your seat rail and there's a bracket you turn your compressor upside down so it's gonna sit like this under your seat your bracket uh, you mount your compressor to your bracket your bracket goes on top of your seat rail and then your seat goes back on top and just sandwiches it all together either one of those I think is a pretty good uh, option um, I'm probably gonna go with the, the floor mount one myself um, oh one more thing so this kit does not come with instructions nothing no wiring diagrams no nothing so there is a considerable gap in the uh, price point between the original arb and the no name one here so if you you know are pretty savvy at uh, wiring or understanding uh 12 volt systems shouldn't be a problem you can do a little bit of googling um, I found a couple pictures that kind of clarified a few questions that I have um, so um, yeah so far that that's about it all right so um, I got my plate cut out so this is gonna be the uh, the inside back corner this would be the outside back corner and the floor has a hoop in it so I cut a notch and I put a little bend in there so it kind of contours so that this piece will sit a little bit more flat 
Um, and I don't know if you guys have kind of struggled with, um, you know, getting your holes lined up on your plates here where, you know, you're coming in and doing your, your majoring and then you come over here and everything. And next thing you know, you got to open your holes up massive to get all your holes to line up or it's not square or whatever. Here's a little trick that I learned over the years. Works pretty good. So I just took a piece of paper. This is actually a receipt from the aluminum that I bought. And I squared it up with the back of this plate right here. And then I just took something and poked a hole in it Boop, like that. And then I took one of these bolts and ran it down to kind of hold it. And then I just did the same thing all the way around. And then, then you just take your paper and you transfer it over to your, uh, you know, your base material here. Got a couple of nice straight edges there. And I just marked them with my Sharpie and then center punched them and drilled them. And uh, this thing, let's see. <laughs> and I didn't have to drill some big massive holes and use big fender washers or whatever so that's just a, a little tip all right let's uh, see if this thing lines up the way that I wanted it to She feels pretty solid. I'm giving her a good yank there. And she's not moving, so. My only concern is, or was, the um, the little uh, outlet port for the uh, compressor where, the, where it comes out of the top. But right now, if I have the sleep, seat slid all the way forward which is the lowest point because it kind of sits at an angle i got let's see there it is i got all, almost three fingers if i kind of tip them at a little angle so i'm pretty sure i could put like a little 90 on there and just kind of route it around the side it should be all right So I run my seat, the back of my seat to probably about right here. And, you know, that stuff could fall in here and sit up against this compressor. And, uh, you know, when these things run for a minute, they get pretty warm. So I think what I'm going to do is come off of here and make like a little L bracket that's going to just kind of sit right in this area. That way, when I have the seat, you know, nothing can fall up and lean against it. And then... I'm not sure. I think for now, temporarily, I'll get some stuff out of here. Um, the air chuck port, I'm probably going to make a little bracket right here and just put it on. And then you'll just plug the hose in right there. Okay. Well, if you guys like that part of it, 
um, and you want to know more about how I wire it um, or any additional brackets or you know anything I do for as far as the air supply stuff like that uh, ring the bell for notification first of all you got to subscribe you gotta like this then ring the bell for notifications so that you know when the next part of this video comes up and uh, if you guys have any questions put them in the comments concerns anything put them down there let me know and I'll get back to you guys thanks a lot